Hello, my name is Charles. I want to welcome you to The Guide Principles, Living in the Philippines. This episode is going to be a day in the life, and I want to cover some things that expats or if you're coming to the Philippines, you should know. Just like in your own neighborhood, you have to be aware of what's going on in your neighborhood. This is no different. Right now, the current events here in my neighborhood is in the Philippines, there was a Chinese gambling ring run by a woman named Alex Guo. They're rounding up Chinese people and come to find out here in my subdivision, they actually had a setup in one of the townhouses. I was shocked. I just found this out yesterday. The other thing here right now, dengue fever is an issue. I just got word that there was a problem. One of the African-American men, he's been in the hospital twice with dengue fever. You don't want to get it. There's no inoculation. You have to go to the hospital when you get it and dialysis and all kinds of stuff. The reason that's a problem right now, especially for me, is because right outside my door is a swimming pool and the pump is gone. They fixing the pump. It takes them a while. So the water sitting there is turning green and eventually it will become a cesspool for mosquitoes. I'm going to complain about that. Another thing that has come about recently is men having issues with Filipino women. And it's become very serious. We'll cover things like this as we go on. I want to thank you for watching, but let's get to the content of me out going to the Bureau of Immigration. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Charles out at the mall. This thing is a little short video for expats to let you know that it is best that when you're going out into the Filipino shopping malls, have an escort that can guide you. That's, that's my housekeeper there. Say hello. Wang. Hi. Say hello. Say, say hello. <laughs> I know you're proud of See, I caught it by surprise. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> It's oh, it's a cutie pie. <laughs> this here is the. What mall is this? Hmm? What mall is this? This is the Kasama Mata. My time. We just left um, the Bureau of Immigration. You have to renew your visa every two months right now because they're trying to clean up the country. And we just ran into earlier this morning that MoneyGram had that cybersecurity breach and you can't get no money through MoneyGram right now. That caught me by surprise. And so what I want to say is, is that if you're an expat, have multiple avenues for which you can get money to yourself here in the Philippines. Get a GCash card. Gcash, though, has a $1,000 a month limit as far as uh, what you can transfer it directly. The next option is you're going to have to send it to yourself. Uh, I'm going to suggest that you register with MoneyGram and Western Union with your passport so that you can pick up money in any of these locations. That's all I got right now. I'm fixing to head back home. I'm sitting here in front of... Uh, Chow King getting me some sweet and sour chicken because I know I'm going to be hungry when I go home. And I'm going to show you some stuff outside. Ooh. That's what you have for to look forward to here in the Philippines. Are you a man struggling with your finances? Are you tired of that soul-sucking first world lifestyle 
My name is Charles, and I want to offer to you the DISH channel. I offer training in digital economy and how to be do digital marketing and affiliate marketing so that you can create an alternate form of income, multiple forms of income. Based on what's going on in the world today, it is absolutely essential that we get reliable information on social media. I want to be that source for you. In the comments of this video, there will be some links I'm going to share that you can follow my content and I have free introductions to affiliate marketing and how to build YouTube channels and how to use this to make a digital income. And if you want to make it faster, you can hire me as your coach. I can get you through the process in 30 days and you can be up and running on the internet attempting to make your money making opportunities a reality yeah this is what it's like in the daytime here on my way back to basewater got my immigration renewed for another two months it's cost two thousand eight hundred pesos that's about fifty bucks $25 a month. The next one is I have to get my ACR card renewed. I think that costs another 1,200 pesos. 1,000 pesos is about 18 bucks right now. So this is one the ride back home. I'm going to be posting this on YouTube. But there's some things, you know, that I ran into that kind of caught me by surprise. The cyber security of MoneyGram has shut down MoneyGram in the United States. That caught me by surprise and I said, no, nah, this is something that I've never seen before. We're starting to see some strange things here in the Philippines as a result of what's going on worldwide. And finding a safe haven just in case whatever goes on is a good idea for anyone. The cost of living here is extremely low. Uh, rent, I have two internet connections. In case one go down, that's about, I think that's about 30, about 3,000 pesos total. So that comes to like, let's say 60 bucks, $30 each. In case one goes down, especially if you're dependent on the internet to make your income or for your entertainment services and my light bill is right now is about 6,000 pesos a month and I run my air conditioning 24 hours a day. So 6,000 pesos for running my internet, I mean not, not my internet, my electric bill, that's like six times, 20 is 120 dollars a month to cool off a two bedroom townhouse, which is not bad. So this is what it's like here, I, you know, I enjoy these excursions, I'm going to start getting out more to show it to you. Hospital, 
all of his ideas gone, his luggage is gone. And so I'm going to suggest and recommend that you never go out to the Philippines by yourself. Because you never know when this heat might, you might have a heat stroke or something or need some sort of assistance. And you need to have somebody with you that you can trust and will know who you are. That is very important. That's what I wanted to talk about when because I was going to go out to the Bureau of Immigration yesterday and something told me that wait and get Wang to go with me because it's just safer that way. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. How do you navigate the Philippines safely as an expat or just a vacation? Being out here in different areas you never know what you're going to run into. I'm just keeping it real with you. I mean, that's why I haven't gotten a motorcycle yet, but I think it's, it's getting time for me to get one. I can't be afraid of it forever. So, click like and click share. If you got any um, comments or some things you want me to show you, uh, just leave them in the comments and I'm going to get out and do it. Thank <laughs> you.